Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing the Corsair K68 keyboard. Um, I'll be going over some of the pros and cons of it and what we like and don't like about it. So I guess let's jump right in. So by looking at it initially, I really like the overall aesthetic of it. Um, it has a nice red sort of rubber backing uh, and the switches are very nice with the aesthetic font. Um, I'm not a fan of the wrist pad on it. It's a little it's pretty plasticky and thin as you can see and if you're typing it provides very little wrist support. Um, to be honest I think it would have been better if they just didn't include it in the in the package at all. Um, so as far as like how the keyboard keys and switches feel, um, could be better. <laughs> uh, they have the cherry red switches which usually are pretty good, but I think the rubber backing on it kind of makes them feel mushy and not very, not very nice. Um, Plus, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but if I if I mash on these keys a bit, the, the whole keyboard will ring. And when I was typing with this, it was getting very frustrating. Um, let's see if you can hear it. it sort of has like a resonance to it. Um, it's definitely not for me though. Uh, as far as the other, the other aspects of the keyboard go. Um, it's a full size keyboard, it has a bunch of media keys up here, which are nice. Um, you can also change the brightness and lock it and stuff. Um, I actually really like the textured space bar here. It has a nice feel to it when you're, when you're typing. Um, I'm a sucker for textured keycaps. So, um, one thing that's a big downside for me is the power cord is not detachable and it's only available in the standard USB format. Um, yeah, if it were up to me, I'd prefer if it were detachable. Alright, let's plug this bad boy in. As you can see, it's got a pretty bright red backlighting. Um, first time I turned it on, it was dark and it almost blinded me. Um, I would definitely turn it down a bit. But yeah, as you can see, there's a few settings there. Um, overall, I'm not the biggest fan of this keyboard and I don't know if I could recommend it in good conscience. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side, about $90 I believe. Um, there's better keyboards you can get for cheaper than that. So um, Another thing I forgot to mention is it has ABS plastic keycaps. Um, basically if you use this type of keycap over time it will get really greasy and slippery feeling. Uh, and it will get kind of shiny too. Uh, it's not a good look. You should always be looking for uh, PVC keycaps, but yeah, overall that's my review. I'd probably give it like a 4 out of 10. Um, it wouldn't be a bad keyboard for someone who's starting out in the, in the mechanical keyboard world. Like, it wouldn't be a bad first keyboard, but I wouldn't recommend it to anyone who's an enthusiast or anything like that. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed me talking about a keyboard for 5 minutes, but... Uh, anyways, thanks for watching.